So I'm in the process of framing out and trimming the uh, upper center section windows, at least in the uh, dining and living room entry area. Those windows are disgusting. <laughs> First of all, they're still caked with uh, drywall dust and then cobwebs and just dirt and dead bugs. So I'm just going window by window, cleaning them out and then framing them, completing the whole trimming process. So. You guys will never guess what we're working on today. I'm sure they'll guess. <laughs> Trim! <laughs> Last room in the house. I'm just working on framing out the windows. I have enough to do the inside jams. I only have the side pieces, so I still, uh, I'm short a few, some wood. Uh, I can go to the store tonight, but until then I'll work on baseboards and finishing out everything else. Yeah, and something else that we need to do whenever we go to the store is we have to get stuff to prepare for winter. We need to still winterize the pump house. I don't know why we're waiting <laughs> like the last second to do that. We're procrastinators. I know. Well, it's just, you know, when you have so many things on your to-do list, it's kind of what happens. So yeah, we need to get a bunch more trim. We also need to get some insulation. Also, something's going on with the septic. Oh yeah, the aeration pipe. The dogs ran broke into it, it and broke it because <laughs> it's all elevated off the ground. So yeah, little pipes exposed. So I got to come up with some way so they can't run into it because they like to uh, chase the cows and donkeys right at the fence line. Right. And of course, ran into it. They, one of them ran into it and broke it. Yeah, so we got a big to-do list today. <laughs> but what do you think of the one window that you have done so far? It looks really good. I know, I know I always say this, but it's just, it's so crazy how much the trim transforms it. Like, the window seems so much bigger than it did before. And this room is already bright because it has, well, five, six windows if you include the door. And now it's really bright. Who knew trimming uh, trimming it up would make it look bigger? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you really caught me off guard there. God, babe, <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Get to work, you little creep. Got some trimming to do. <laughs> <laughs> So yesterday didn't go quite as planned. We ran out of trim very quickly, so we didn't get very far. 
So now we're about to head out. We have to make a trip to the dump to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And then we're gonna go to the store, get all the rest of the trim that we need, insulation for the pump house, and the parts that we need to fix our septic. So of course yesterday we went to town to get our supplies for the next several days and one of the most crucial things for framing out these windows is shims and of course I forgot that. <laughs> so I went ahead and we have plenty of scrap wood, made my own. The only nice thing about having the store bought shims is they're uniformed in size pretty much where if you cut your own it's kind of all over the place all over the place mm -hmm. which could be nice because then you get all shapes and sizes but not perfect but it'll work need to film which is very difficult to do when you're wearing a baby so <laughs> I don't know what to do <laughs> okay no kicking oh my goodness how steady is this footage not at all you say All right, so now that all the trim inside the house is done, well, I mean, I still have to paint it all, but uh, that's something that can be done at night once the kids are asleep. While I have daylight hours, I'm gonna work on something outside, and it's pretty important since winter's coming. First thing is, put an additional latch on this uh, pump house door. The reason why is because, I mean, I built this door, and it's, uh, just made out of the same stuff that the siding is made out of cedar tongue and groove siding so i mean it has a little deflection especially once you press it up into the seal and latch the latch which it keeps the critters out as long as you remember to latch the door i mean i've forgotten to latch the door a couple times we've gotten a mouse in there and we've gotten a snake in there so uh yeah so I'm gonna put another additional latch towards the bottom because there has been a mouse that got in there one time when we, uh, when I left the door open and it got in overnight 
and then I realized it was there was evidence of a mouse in there so I went ahead and closed it up I didn't find the mouse it wasn't in there at that time and I checked it the next day still nothing but the following day after that I had found a mouse in there and it had nibbled at the door frame just a little bit in order to squeeze through so I'm just going to put an additional latch down at the bottom just to make sure that door is sealed tight against those uh, the, the weather stripping and whatnot. What'd you find, Spencer? Uh, some toad feces. <laughs> no, that's not what you said. You said a decaying toad turd. <laughs> Yeah, good thing Spencer added that latch because you can see right here where the mouse shoot through. And the last thing I got to do is winterize this pump house. So all I'm really going to do for that right now is just throw some insulation in the walls. Uh, because if you don't remember from last winter, we had a polar vortex. That storm was a one in a century storm, but roughly we get a polar vortex every 10 years. And that was rough really really rough so uh, we don't want to have to deal with that again or at least greatly reduce our chances of frozen pipes and issues inside this pump house He got roughly half of this wall done and this whole wall over here next to the door. But he ran out of insulation, so we're gonna have to get more and hopefully finish this tomorrow. All right, so now that the pump house is all fixed, what I'm gonna be working on is the septic. Right down here is this little pipe. As you can see, it's kind of uh, detached. Uh, the reason why it's like that is because the two uh, dogs, they like to bark and chase the cows and donkeys at the fence line whenever they're grazing next to the fence. Uh, and one of them ran into that pipe. And the reason why my aeration pump is off the ground is because here in Texas, we get fire ants real bad during the summertime. They were starting to build uh, nests underneath this because this was just sitting on the ground beforehand. And yeah, they'll destroy an aeration pump. So that's why it's elevated off the ground and it's worked flawlessly up until this point. <laughs> so I'll also have to figure out something to prevent the dogs from running into the pipe again and breaking it again. So let me at least go ahead and fix this.
So are we back up and running? We are. Thank goodness the septic's working again because we've been holding it for a really long time. Yeah, at least two weeks. <laughs> okay, this has been broken for way longer than that. <laughs> So we just got something in the mail. Actually, one of the more crucial parts of um, winterizing this pump house. The entire pump house is insulated, but this door that I had made didn't have any insulation. And so my solution to that was these insulating acoustic curtains, pretty much, that are meant for doors and windows. So this one is just, it hangs right above the door. It can roll up and stay up out of the, out of the way most of the year. And then whenever we have those really cold times of the year, I can roll it down. And then it also has Velcro straps that will keep it attached to the frame of the door. So preventing any of that cold air from blowing in to the pump house and hopefully keeping the air in there above freezing because it doesn't really get below freezing too often here, but when it does, hopefully it'll keep it above freezing. Man, this is where you need to do any voiceovers or voice recording. With this open uh, insulation and this curtain, it is dead silent in here. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. It would be perfect in there. It, it would be. Instead of any of the echoing or mm -hmm. any of that in the house. What was that? I couldn't hear you. What? <laughs> oh, don't go. Where did you go? <laughs> oh, bye. bye. <laughs> I probably should put it a little bit higher, but. Baby, you didn't think about that? <laughs> Seriously? Well, it works for me. <laughs> yeah, I probably should add an extra foot to it, but uh, it'll get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, honestly, I, I come in here like maybe, maybe at max once a month. Not anything I'm really that concerned about. Hell, we should have stayed in here last year if this was insulated yeah. during the polar vortex. It's on there. <laughs> I mean, we would have had to sleep standing up like the cone heads, but um. Gosh, this thing is so hot. No, I stepped in dog. Oh.